So tonight after the game, I'm joined by Captain James Farrar and netminder Ryan Bainborough. I think, James, we'll start with you. We've got some hard questions to ask. I mean, you've got some hard questions to ask yourself tonight. The fans are going to have some hard questions as well. The first one is, what happened? Um, they scored more goals than we did. Um, I think, to be fair, a lot of what we said in between periods was that you know, we've got to keep plugging away, we've got to keep doing the little things right. And I think for the majority of the game tonight, we were the better team. Um, I know that doesn't necessarily mean you know you deserve to win the game. Um, I think we made a few mistakes at, at crucial times. Um, but uh, I think we were the better team overall in terms of what we did with the puck. I think just some of our decision making wasn't quite there um, you know, when it came to being lethal in front of goal or, or creating something out of nothing maybe in the offensive zone. Just wasn't there tonight for whatever reason. Um, you know, there's not one individual you can blame on that. It's a team effort, um, and I think we just, you know, got to work on a lot, on a few things this week. But you know, we've got to put this this game behind us after tonight and, and concentrate on next weekend before, you know, assessing what we need to do the week after that. Okay. Now again, with the power play unit at the beginning of the season, it was the main source of our goals. In fact, it was one of the most effective in the league. These last three games, we've given up shorthanded goals. Is this something in particular that you're going to be looking at, or is this just going to be part of a general plan to turn things around? Uh, well, that's obviously, you know, Slava's going to know more about that than I will. But I know that he reviews and watches the footage of every game, so he's going to assess where the mistakes were made and what we need to do better. He'll show us if we need to see it, and then, you know, we correct mistakes that we've made and we move forward. Um, obviously, we shouldn't be letting in any, you know, shorthanded goals. Um, for one reason or another and tonight you know I can pinpoint one pass here or there you know I made a couple of passes that you know I'd like to have done differently but you know it's not just one mistake usually that leads to a goal it's usually a number of errors you know along the way and you know we've got to look at all of those and, and, and as a team try and work out what we need to do better um, one thing I would say on the power play is that I think it was actually better than it was perhaps yesterday and we did create a lot of chances off it and we did four check the puck well and we did you know um, create the momentum to be able to get the power plays in the first place you know which is a positive um, maybe we need to have a little bit more of a killer instinct when we do get that opportunity and obviously not give the puck away cheaply um, but you know we, we did get I think the second goal was power play as well tonight um, so we did get two power play goals out of it so it's not in terms of generating chances maybe and and, and scoring as much as it is as in when we lose the puck what do we do to get it back better okay now we've dwelled fairly heavily on negatives I'm going to quickly cross to Ryan for one of the positives. You came into the net cold. In under 10 seconds, you had Ashley Tate bearing down on you. And was that just reading the play or instinct, just getting down in time to stop it? Uh, yeah, it's pretty tough coming on cold, but you just trust your positioning and hope it hits you early. You know, especially a good player like Kim, you don't, you don't particularly want that early on, but, you know. Whether it's then or later on in the game, you've got to stop it. So, so with that, you faced quite a few shots tonight. OK, maybe one you'd want back, but that was a breakaway. Again, coming into this card, I mean, obviously you've spent most of this season on the bench. Coming out in a game as big as this, does that play in your mind or was it just a case of, it's a game, I'm going to play it, that's the end of it? Oh, look, I'd rather come in when we're winning, but... You've got yeah. I haven't played much this year. Marzi's played fantastic, and it's it's been nice to see him play very well. Um, and obviously the team have played very well. So you know I'm happy to to share the team's success. But yeah, obviously you want to want to play as much as you can. And when I do get the chance, you know, albeit being down four one is not is not great for the team. But yeah, I've got to try and take my chance and just try and make a few saves. Uh, keep us in the game, and you know I tried to keep us in the game as as long as long as we could. We play, you know, we we dominate the third period, and yeah, they scored a two on one on a backdoor play and you know can't really do a lot about it but yeah uh, you know, it's nice to get on but obviously I'd rather be in a winning position Now again James as Ryan touched on there very much a dominant display pretty even in the first we'll not talk about the second anymore in the third on the other hand as I said very dominant a lot of good opportunities on the power play is that more the kind of positive that you're going to look to take into next week? Absolutely, we've got to take uh, as many positives as possible. We need to know what we're doing right as much as we need to know what we're doing wrong. Um, I mean, in terms of the second period, although they, they won it, I think we were the better team. We still had a lot of the puck and probably, you know, dominated the period in terms of effort and created the power plays, as I said. It's just the mistakes that we made on the puck. So, um, obviously, we've got to take as much as many positives as possible going forward. We can't dwell on this tonight because, obviously, next Saturday is a huge game um, and it's another opportunity to go ahead um, and, and lift the trophy. You know, we've got four games in the Cup. 
potentially, hopefully, um, in which to, to get some success. And we know what that feels like now. And we want, we do want more, you know. Um, and after tonight, obviously, there's going to be a lot of negatives because we lost a couple of games this weekend. But if you look at the league positioning and standings, obviously, I don't know off the top of my head, but a lot of it is still in our control. So we can only control what, what we have in front of us and what we can do. We can't control other things. Um, and we're still in a position where... Um, that's still, you know, the reality for us. We're not hoping and, and wanting other things to go our way. We're still in, we have a lot in control and we have other teams that we're going to play that we now perhaps need to beat more than we did before, but we need to go out there and do the job. And, you know, that's what it's about, being consistent all the way through the season at the start, in the middle and at the end. And that's what we've got to try and get, get back to, uh, to doing right now. Um, but in terms of positives, the one thing I will say is obviously it's, it's disappointing to see Marzi obviously leave the goal, but... Obviously, he's had a great season for us so far. Um, and to see Ryan step in and make some of the saves he did, you know, did an absolutely outstanding job tonight. Um, and, you know, both of those, both our goalies work extremely hard on and off the ice um, and are really real team players. So, um, you know, th there's no looking upon, you know, their performances tonight or, or any other game this season. They've been really, really, really good for us and uh, they just need to keep that going. And, and, and as a team, we need to just correct our mistakes. Excellent. And quite agree. So you've also touched now on next weekend. Bees home and away, away in Bracknell on the Saturday. Given the record there that you've had previously and up through this season, that's going to leave you feeling fairly confident, at least. Uh, it doesn't really matter because it's the cup, you know. It doesn't really matter on, on past results. We know what we need to do to beat them, and we also know what we've done wrong in the past when they've beat us. Um, and we only we were only there a couple of weeks ago, and obviously they put quite a few goals against us. So. Um, you know they're going to be hungry for it and, and confident, but it's, a, it's 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 two games. You know it's two games. It's 120 minutes of hockey, whereby we've got to be the most consistent team and outwork them for, for the majority of that time, and then hopefully we'll get success. Excellent. Well, on that note, James, I'll leave you two guys to head back. Thanks for tonight, and uh, good luck next week.